Hello Internet, me again. Uh, just a short one this week, I think. Um, I have news. I have finished the Me and Mine trailer, and it only took four bloomin' ever, but I will put a link to it in the description down here. Uh, so check that out, and check the book out as well, because it's a good book. And I will be starting the Ink trailer very soon. I've got some ideas for that one, so that should be fun. Uh, I have now in my possession a copy of The Art of Voice Acting by James R. Alberger. And this isn't a library copy, this is actually mine, so I own it, so that's good. I'm going to have a lot of fun with CD and looking through with the exercises. Uh, I suppose we should start off because last time I talked about voices and breathing and sounds, and so now we can talk more about the actual talking. Uh, we're learning things from scratch here, just remember, so we've learned to breathe, we've learned to make sounds, and now we're learning about talking. Um, our friend Mr. Alberger says some very interesting things about voices in his book. Uh, mostly, the first thing you need to do is identify what your instrument is, because I have said before that the voice is a muscle, but the voice is also an instrument. Um, you can sing and speak and learn about it the same way you can learn about playing an instrument. Uh, this is really the point is that um, there are several things that you can do with your voice and some people have a very specific range like a uh, saxophone say is a smooth sound is a very particular sound uh, hang on, I'll, re I'll read what he says, because he, he says it much better than I do. Voice actors are no different than the instruments in an orchestra. As you study this craft, you'll begin to discover things about your instrument. Do you have a smooth, mellow, clear tone like a trumpet? Do you have a voice that is high-pitched, or as a friend of ours says, baritone challenged, like a piccolo? Or perhaps you will discover that your voice is deep and resonant, with a limited range, like a bassoon. And then he goes on to describe the different sort of voices that people have and how you can work for those particular things. And then he says, There is still one instrument that I haven't mentioned yet, and you may discover that this is where you fit in the voiceover orchestra. That instrument is the digital MIDI keyboard. Press a button on this keyboard and you have a string section. Press a different button and you're playing a piano. Press yet another button and it's now a trumpet. The possibilities are endless. Many voice actors specialise in mastering skills for... for for performing within the primary range and tone of their voice. They become the best violin, trumpet or bassoon they can be, with an ability to convey the subtlest nuance through their performance. Most voice actors who work in animation or video games fall in the digital keyboard category. Through their years of study, they have mastered the ability to create a wide range of very real and believable voices on demand. And his point is that it's all about working towards discovering what's best for your voice. Um, I'm going to bear that in mind and I'm going to work through that. I think I have to say honestly that my ultimate end goal would be to become a digital MIDI keyboard in that analogy. Uh, but I think at the moment I'm... I know that my range is alto to soprano in terms of singing and I think that's where I should focus. Uh, I know that naturally I have what a friend of mine has called a BBC4 accent, uh, which I assume means that I would do very well on the arches, maybe. I don't know. Um, so yes, I think I'm going to work with that and see where that leads me. I've been collecting some various pieces of copy, which as far as I'm aware are free use. If there is any copyright problems, then I will be listing where I got them from, so that should be fine. And I think next time I might go through them and we can talk about talking conversationally, because as much as I would love to be the voice on the next kid's cartoon or the next uh, talking book or anything like that, <clears throat> sorry, the majority of voice actors start through commercials and adverts, so... You have to bear that in mind and you have to know how to read copy because reading copy is like reading a very, very short script and it's a good thing to get used to. Um, so I've collected that and I think that'll be next time's task. 
talking about breathing and enunciating, as we have been, I think I want to give anyone who's going along with me, just because it'll be interesting to find out if people are watching for watching, or watching because they actually want to learn, or whatever you're watching, uh, I want to recommend something. If you want to practice your breathing and your speaking and your enunciating, sorry, get my cables out of the way, uh, I have to recommend the Animaniacs and their songs. And anyone who's had more than a five minute conversation with me at this point is probably groaning because Vicky's going on about the Animaniacs again. But I can't help it. They are, to my mind, possibly one of the best cartoons ever made, especially one of the best in terms of writing and in terms of teaching people how to use their voices because they have a, a wonderful selection of songs which vary in terms of the musical ability required to perform them and also the ability to control your own voice and have the power over the words and that's something that sounds a bit weird but I think once you go away and have a look at the Animaniac songs you'll see what I mean um, I certainly know that learning those songs has helped me with my breathing and my enunciation. Uh, it's not very many people who can list all of the countries in the world to the tune of the Mexican hat dance, and it's even fewer of them who can list it clearly, so practicing things like that really does help you get a handle on breathing and helps you get those skills on a level where you're not thinking about them so that they are just instinctive and they just happen. Uh, I would do some more examples but to be honest with you today I'm not feeling particularly well. It is really really cold and I'm quite tired and I'm not feeling particularly well so I'm finding it quite hard to breathe as you can probably hear from my horrible panting over the microphone. I'm just not particularly well today, but I thought I'd do a voice blog to, you know, keep everyone up to date. Uh, so yes, ink will happen soon. Uh, the Me and Mine trailer is up and should be linked along here somewhere. I'll put out another link to what have you, because I'm sure there are some good examples of me up there recently, I don't know. Um. Yeah, I think that's it, really. I'm going to be reading through James R. Olberger. I'm going to be practicing my breathing. I'm going to be practicing my enunciation. I'm going to be practicing my making sounds and reading copy. And hopefully I'll come back to you with a better, bigger, more informative blog next time. Talk to you soon, Internet.